Hi, my magical creatures, and welcome to my channel. So today's video is, do all transgender people think about detransitioning? Um, so before we begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. It's a great way to help your girl out. So let's get started. All right, so do all transgender people think about detransitioning? Um, this is kind of like my, um, kind of like my experience. I honestly want to say that, honestly, all I want to say is, is that, um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to, I'm going to say no. Um, I'm only speaking for me and my experience. I don't really know anybody else. Um, but for me, I'm going to say no, because, you know, when I went through my transition, um, I felt like, you know, this is who I was, you know, I was always a woman. I've always felt like this was something I needed to do. This was something that needed to happen in order for me to like be myself. Um, so basically what I did with that was that, um, the only times I've really like, I didn't, I've never had doubt. Like, that's the thing too. Like when I heard about people like detransitioning and stuff, I felt like, dang, like, that's crazy. Like, and it kind of like, at first that kind of like scared me a little bit because I was like, what if one day, like, what if one day it's like, oh no, nah, like, um, like all of a sudden the male gene that I have like switches on and it's like, oh, I need to, I need to transition back into a male again. Like this ain't me. You know, like I was really scared because I was like, why are these people like detransitioning and stuff like that? But after doing my research and watching other detransitioners like videos and stuff of them like being like a detransition, detransitioner or whatever, a lot of them were like either gender fluid or like non-binary or like um, they just like being like if like since they were a guy, they love being a very feminine guy or I did see this one detransitioner of a F2M. Um, she, I'm going to just say she because she doesn't identify as a male anymore, but she transitioned into a man and then realized this wasn't it. This wasn't for her. And she transitioned back into a female. But I mean, she did have a deep voice and everything, but she said that um, she just was a very masculine female, but people, because she was, she loved, like, she was acting just like a, a straight male. They were saying things like, oh, you should transition. So she ended up transitioning based off of people's feedback and stuff. So I was like, okay, that's your first problem. Like you should have never transitioned based off what other people say. Like you have to do like what feels right in your heart, you know? And for me, do you tra like for me, um, do you transition? No, um, for me, I knew in my heart that this is what I needed to do in order to be happy. I just felt like um, if I if I didn't get this surgery for my face, and also to these surgeries that I got done, this was for me. Like this was to calm my my dysphoria, my gender dysphoria, and stuff like that. So for me, um, I'm really happy that I was able to get all my stuff done and I actually still want to get some stuff done but you know that's in a later video that's for another video but um for me I want to say like the most like I felt like if I wasn't going to transition I felt like I was going to h-u-r-t me like I was definitely going to h-u-r-t myself like I did not know how but I did tell like my family member about it and even she she even I felt like she even believed me like I even told her, like this is how I feel. Like I just feel like the same. This isn't the body for me. And she even was like, "Well, God put you in a male's body for a reason. Like, you know, you were meant to be a male, and you know, stuff like that." And I said, "No, like you're not listening." But then after I started to hurt my, oop, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on here, but after I said I was gonna H U R T myself. Then that's when she kind of was like, okay, like, just relax. Like, we'll go, you know, to the doctor and see what's going on. So like that. So, um, yeah, so pretty much that's kind of it. So for me, so once I started like my HRT journey and stuff, like 
then after that, I started seeing like some changes. Like my skin was softening, my the, the fat distribution on my face was changing. So, and then also to like my baby hairs on my head was coming in, growing. So I was like, okay, this is lit. Like I'm super excited. So after that um happened. Then I started was like, and then my breasts started coming in. So then like these things actually, it made me happy and it made me feel like, yay, like this is it. Like this is where I am. Like I'm super excited, like, you know, stuff like that. And, um, and then after I got my boobs done, um, I definitely felt super like happy. Like I can't live life without, without them anymore. Like, like. They just everything to me. Like I can't even like I can't even imagine my life without them. Like at all. Like I can't even believe I went twenty one years or no, I'm sorry, nineteen years of my life not having boots. Like just crazy to me. So but yes, and oh, I was like what, twenty one when I got them done. So by the time I'm 30, I'm 26, so in four years, I got to go get these done again. So I don't know. And I really like the size and everything, but I know once I get them, like, redone again, I'm going to have to go bigger. Um, They can't put the same size implant in, so I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm skinny. <laughs> but I'm probably going to go, like, maybe an inch bigger. I don't know. We'll see. But, um... Yeah, and then after that, I got my face done. That made me super happy. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I look good. So, yeah, I love it. I look very feminine. Y'all can't tell me nothing. So, I'm just like, I don't know. I was just so hyped today. So, and then after that, and then once I got my SRS surgery, that really took off for me. And that made me really, really happy. And I know, like, a lot of, like, detransitioners, too, they talk about, getting SRS and then they say that it was like the biggest mistake in their lives and it's just like all of that and I was so scared that like what is that gonna happen if what if that happens to me you know but honestly it's been what a year it's two years now post-op I don't regret nothing I'm happy I love my new body part it's just everything and I just feel like I'm me now and I don't have to worry about nothing so um yeah, I just feel super feminine. I just feel so free and I'm just, I love it. And, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm too much. I don't know what it is, but I'm super high. I think because it's late at night, y'all. And it's like, I'm just kind of silly right now. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so as far as I do transgender people, Oh, yeah. So I just felt like if I wasn't going to get these surgeries or anything, then I felt really depressed and sad. But once I got everything done, now I feel complete. I feel whole. I feel like everything is fine now. So I don't have to worry about anything. Um, but my best advice is, you know, um, do all transgender people think about detransitioning? The answer is no. I personally feel like people that do detransition is because they were actually like they like um a lot of them identified as being non-binary or um being um gender fluid you know where they feel comfortable being both genders um and then also to like um they just feel very masculine and they felt like they had to transition due to society um standards and stuff or they were peer pressured by friends and family and people about transitioning because they were very masculine. And let's say they were born female and they were very masculine. And they were like, oh no, like you should transition. I think that's for you. Like, don't ever listen to what other people think. Follow what's in your heart. And that sounds cheesy or whatever, but it's the God honest truth. Follow your heart and follow what feels right to you, you know? So. Honestly, I hope this video helped you guys. Um, do all transgender people think about detransitioning? Honestly, I can speak for myself. Is no, I've never once that thought has never crossed my mind. But once people did talk about detransitioning and all that, I was a little scared because I didn't understand. But I just think they were on a different path, you know, in life. So, 
Um, but yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay magical. Mwah.